Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Before the Echo. Finally got it right this time. I keep calling it sequence, and I shouldn't be. Anyway, well, it says it, but it's not called that anymore. Anyway, so what I had last time was this microphone, lower spell cost by 20%, and I, I liked what that did. Uh, however, I've now switched over to Aaron Shades, reduced spell cooldown by 40%, which we got from defeating Aaron, obviously. That makes battles go by a whole lot faster. And, uh, you know, and I... I played around a little, a little bit. And, uh, I was also using the time to level up. I don't know what level I was at before, but I think I was at, like, 26 or 27 or something. I, I'm a couple levels higher than I was before, so this should help. And also, I was grinding for materials. Like, uh, this blue potion here, angel scroll, all these things. These all looked pretty good. So, let's go for this, because this just seems like it's better all around. Our goal is to also not lose too many levels in the process, that would be great. Had just a tiny bit of technical difficulties there. Anyway, we got the Light Wave Blade. Let's see, we've got Angel, Scroll, something else I wanted to make. This one looks pretty much free, almost. And this one, this one gave me some good stats, too. I forgot to show you guys. I'll show you in a second, since we made it. Uh, let's see. Blue Potion. This one increases our mana. Like, permanently, so that one's kind of cool. Um, I'm not actually attempting to make the trigger scroll. And then there was the Helm of Refusal. That one, oh, I guess I'll show you. That one gives some decent stats as well. We lose a little bit of mana, but... Considering we're gaining mana anyway from the other one, I think it's okay. Ah, darn it. That's okay. We still got we still got a lot of experience. Being this high leveled now makes our levels have a lot more experience to them. And Prism Half, which is part of making the Iridium. Um, Basically, I think every floor has its own, like, crystal on some enemy, and we basically have to combine all of them. Like, half of them made the half prism, and the other half make, like, the prism half, or something like that. And... And, uh, that one... There was, like, one material that I didn't know what it was. It was actually the uh, one of these crystals that we needed. Come on. Don't make me lose my level, I'll be mad. Oh, come on. Uh -uh. Don't fail me now. There we go. Had to use my entire level up, but... I'm still level 30. That'll help. I think... That, uh... That one guy at the end, I think he drops Radiance, but I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's like an after-game thing. Anyway... Lightwave Blade, also a Light Particle Blade, get it, because... Science? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> let's see, uh, see, I will get that. Get rid of the Sonic Disruptor, don't need no Hedgehogs. Helm of Refusal? Helm, no! Get rid of the Cape Cod Cape. And... I want to get this one. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'll go... Yeah, I'll, I'll learn this, and then I'll go for uh, one more. Well, I might be able to descent a few items. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, that was easy enough. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that did, that was a little bit cleaner than I thought that was going to be. So, yeah, maybe I'll descent something. I just I want to keep that extra level. We're so close to it. Yeah, so, let's see. So, this is going to be a pretty powerful attack, which I'm going to replace... Because, uh, see, I had... I had both, I think, Fallout, yeah, I had Fallout and Miasma, Mi Miasma, yeah, which are two damage over time ones, because they took so long to recharge that it kind of made sense to alternate them, but now that I've got a faster recharge time, I can actually use Miasma, like, constantly. I can use it before it runs out, basically, so I don't need Fallout, so I'm going to replace that. Let's see um, how hard it is to cast this first. Oh, it's not that hard. Wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's not too hard. It's just uh, you got to make sure to actually... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
Yeah, I guess you gotta keep up with it. It's one of those ones where they break them in half. Alright, let me descent a few items real quick. What don't we need? Pretty much, we don't need almost anything in here. Except, don't, don't destroy the half prism or the prism half. There we go. Cool. So, I'm going to try to fight him again. I'm pretty sure I have to go through Aaron again, but now that I'm higher level, that should be easy. So, we'll see. We'll see what comes of this. We'll see. Oh, no, they let me skip Aaron. Cool. Excellent. Where? Look at that. We're, mu we're much closer match now, I can tell. Just look at our health. Our health is much closer than it was before. Before I was at like 100 or 150, 150, something like that, I think. Oh, almost messed me up. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, this hits you hard, doesn't he? Ooh, yeah, those levels are helping. Look at that. I oh, that. But look at those levels, seriously. We're doing a lot more damage now than I was before. I may, I may still have to take, like, another shot at this. Get back up to speed, but we are doing much better. Sorry, it's it's so hard to talk. Oh, he's just gonna destroy me, isn't he? Still, I think we definitely got this. Look at that. So much closer than last time. Just need to get one more attack in. One more good attack in, and I think we've got him. Don't miss. There we go. Oh man, Angel Ray's so powerful. Destroy his face. Yes, we got Radiance. See, I knew it. We got Radiance. This... This is unprecedented. You better kill me soon. If you don't, I will do everything I possibly can to bring you down. Go ahead. I won't beg at your feet. Stop it! What? What's the point? What are you fighting for, Kai? Me? Of course. You're... But isn't that it? Isn't that what they wanted? For you to care about me? They're going to kill you, Kai. And you aren't even against them. Not really, because... Aren't they right? A little? Don't you feel... Don't you feel anything She's part of the me? plan, I knew it! Naya, I do, but it feels... Wrong, because they wanted it. Was any real harm done to us, to anyone? Do you really need to be part of some crusade like Shira? Do you really need to die? meaninglessly because of some abstract concept of morality, they'll rebuild their system and it'll all have been for nothing. I... I can't condone what they're doing. Can't you? In the end, they're just playing some kind of technological cupid. Even if you can't condone it, you can at least accept it. For me, Kai. Please. Parents have been arranging their children's marriages since biblical times. We're simply far more efficient. You're killing the mood, Mir. <laughs> My apologies. Regardless... Regardless of whether or not things work out between us, I guess it's still our choice to make. And you're right. This tower... This tower just isn't a fight worth dying for. It's disgusting. It really is. But there's much worse out there. I'll let it go, Mir. I'm so glad you agree. There's not much time left. You'll be ejected from the system forcibly. We'll make sure you're well taken care of. Kai, Naya, best of luck. 
we'll leave you be. So long as you take no action against us. We understand. Lumen guinho lumen. Exception throne. Memory address 0x0a3bb. Oh, good. Now he's the crazy computer guy. 4cd10a3. Could not be caught. System memory failure DTEC 8743292938393939339. <laughs> System shutting down. Naya? I'm here, Kai. We made it. Yeah. So... What are you doing this Friday? <laughs> and... That's the ending. There we go. There we go. That's the ending. Is it good? Do I hit? Do I hit this one right? I think you have to. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, wait, hold, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Or is it? Is it going? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's okay. It's going. Sweet. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm Jason Wishnov. I played Kai, and I'm joined by Barbara King. I played Naya. And we are here to narrate the end credits to you. Um, to make them more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> They're already super interesting, but oh, I mean, we wouldn't want to deprive them of our sparkling personalities. Of course. Um, word. So, uh, cast in order of appearance. Oh. Oh, it's you, it's, Jason. I, you know what? I didn't want to put myself first, uh -huh, but sure. it, I just happened to appear in the game first, so that's whatever, man. Yes, I'm just going to go on now because it's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> Who's next? Hmm, I wonder, I wonder who appeared who... second in the game. <gasps> oh, it's me! It's you, obviously. Fantastic actress. Aww. You guys know that. You listened to her. Oh my god, now that's a. I'm actually going to. I've actually got. I'm going to cast Naya in the next game as Barbara King. <laughs> so, um, next up we had Zanus Mulekis, who played Percival, and he has a message for everyone, so let us listen. Hi, I'm Zanus Malekas. I played Sir Percival. Thank you for playing Sequence. I hope you enjoyed the game. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you, Zanus. Zanus actually was a uh, pure stage actor, you know, uh, Shakespearean trained, classically trained, all this stuff. He had never done a game before. Um, he, I mean, he came in and he just, he rocked, you know, that role. He was amazing. I don't even think I gave him a second take. Yes, such a he yeah, is just very. It was, it was great. We have Jason Hightower as Donaldo and as uh, Mir. Yes, Jason Hightower also has a message for all of you. Hi, this is Jason Hightower. I play the voice of Donaldo and Mir, and I'm a short Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did not tell him to say that. He is very clearly proud, you know. And why? And why wouldn't he be? I mean. Mexican, and he may have been short, but very handsome man, I must say. Very handsome. Oh, fantastic. Very so, handsome boy. Oh, yes. Lucian Dodge uh, as Caleb. Yeah. Lucian, what do, you, what do you say? Hey, everyone. Lucian Dodge here. Hope you enjoyed the game, and please watch till the end. These people worked hard on this game. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, did he say please? He did say please. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm pleased to meet you, Barbara. Oh, it's pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yeah, Lucian, Lucian was great. He was, he was a great fit for that part. So, good job, Lucian. I mean, if you have trouble pronouncing words. <laughs> uh, Patrick Seitz as Aaron. Patrick, what say you? Hey guys, I'm Patrick Seitz. I voiced Aaron. Hope you had fun playing the game. Enjoy your credits victory lap. Very soft, well, uh, <laughs> victory lap indeed. Patrick could have probably played any part of this entire game, including the female parts, because he's that good. But his voice was like gravelly and low and menacing, and I was like, yes, Aaron, yes, no, and that's what he did, and he did it super well. So high five, Pat. I don't know if he likes being called Pat. That was a, he's oh he's here. Funny. Hi, hi, Patch. Bye, man. It's good, good Later. talking to you. See you, dude. Oh, Heather Ann Campbell played. Heather, what do you say to the nice people at home? Hi, I'm Heather Ann Campbell, and I play Jane. 
Thanks for playing sequence. She sounds so sweet in her, in her message. Um, I've actually seen Heather do a lot of sketch and improv here in Los Angeles. She's very well known. Very funny. Lady. And you didn't even know, you knew her before you even knew she was right, working on the game. Right, So that was like, oh, what's up, Heather? What's up? Word. And then they like did a bro fist we did fi thing. That's what I was, yeah, yeah, we did some fist stuff. Yeah, well. That doesn't sound good. Can you edit that out? <laughs> well. If you're lucky, maybe. Or it might still be in the game right now. If you're, uh, if you're listening, then Jason won. <laughs> Next up, we have, I believe, Alexa Khan, who played Adele and Shira. Alexa. Hi, I'm Alexa Khan, and I played Adele and Shira. Thanks so much for playing. And remember, moons, hearts, and stars, infinity and beyond. Okay, I think... I don't, what did that mean? She, I don't know. Maybe she likes Lucky Charms. Or, or maybe she likes Toy Story. I don't. I'm... Can we say that? Can we say Toy Story? Will we get sued by Pixar? Edward Bosco as, as Eddie. Eddie. As how appropriate. He says something about that. I shouldn't steal his thunder. <laughs> hey guys, this is Edward Bosco, the voice of Eddie. Funny how that works. No, seriously, I, I, didn't, I had no hand in that at all. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the game, or at least playing it, as much as I enjoyed voicing it. I guess that was me. Maybe you subconsciously cast him because of his first name. I would like to say that, except I think instead that I consciously casted him because he was awesome. That's, <laughs> that's why I, that's what I think I did. But maybe, I don't know, maybe it affected me. Um, Eddie was only in town for like, he was almost like visiting LA. He was in town for like a month and a half. It just happened to be during... Exactly, the and I was like, we gotta, we gotta record now before you go back to Chicago. He lives in Chicago. Um, go, he would want me to say this, go Bulls. I don't know, I don't know. Um, He's a big Bulls fan. I'm a Heat fan. Ooh, I shouldn't say that. Heat are really unpopular now that they got LeBron. Uh, Whatever. Awkward. Take it. Take that. <laughs> Go Heat. You just made a lot of enemies. I did. That's okay. They already played the game. It doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> as long as I didn't say it in the beginning. <laughs> hey, production. So that was the cast. Awesome job, cast. But um, some people made this game. Um, whoever they are. Well, who is this amazing person that did all this stuff? Oh, oh it's, my gosh, it's you! It's me. It's yes, Jason Wish. I made this game. Um, <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty much. Um, yes, I I mean, I had a pretty much, you know, a lot to do with this game, including making it. It would be ridiculous of me to say that I did not have massive amounts of help on this game. And so let's see who else aided in my endeavor. Wendy Chen. Wendy Chen. Tell me, tell did, me about Wendy Chen. Well, she did all of the art and background, and she designed all the characters and made them look so amazing. And everyone else, too. She didn't make you look so amazing, Barbara. You were already there. Aww. But she helped portray that amazingness. She, <laughs> obviously, incredibly talented. All the backgrounds, all the characters, and she designed them as well. You know, I just gave her a very vague idea. of kind of a fantastic job. Yeah, she's really awesome. Hey, Wendy, are you listening? You're cool. You're cool. I freaked out when I saw the design. Freaked it's out. So cool. I had to call the freak out police. I don't know who you call when people freak out. 911? I don't know. Maybe. And creature design was done by David Wong. So, thank you, David. So, yeah, the music. So, I obviously, I can't do art. I can't do music either. So, I had to enlist help from one Ronald Jenkins. Yes. He did all of the awesome battle music. Well, most of it. Most of it. He, he did most of it. All of those, those crazy... Um, hard kind of techno type songs I found him on on YouTube and I was like man he is so awesome I'll just send an email to him and see if he and he did he responded and he was like absolutely you can definitely use my stuff and I was like running around my room in happiness <laughs> and when I say running around my room I mean running around my professional office because that <laughs> is where I work in very very talented really who worked on this game everyone was talented you're a very good I know. That's. I think they call that producing. I should be a producer. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you like Ronald Jenkins stuff, please go to his website, www.ronaldjenkins.com. You can purchase all of the music um, found in the game, including extended versions of said music. And he has a whole bunch of CDs out, too. So you should go there and support him because he's super awesome. Now, he was not the only musician working on the project. Mm -hmm. Michael Wade Hamilton did some of the battle scene stuff, right? You are <laughs> wise. You are wise beyond your years, Barbara King. Uh, yeah, Michael Wood Hamilton, aka DJ Play School, um, did a couple of battle songs, um, but mostly he did the uh, the background music, the scene, the score, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, that's the tone. That's the the tone. Whole yeah, the background music um, and every scene that was playing was all him. Really, like, cool avant-garde stuff. And um, 
has a website too. He does have a he does have a website. <laughs> he and this stuff is all free. If you want the music found the game, you can just go there and download it from from Mr. DJ Playschool at the surprising web address djplayschool.com. So uh, head over there and just you can just grab all the tracks in the game. No problem. So uh, we had some additional music and engineering done by Bradley Burr, who helped out with the final boss song. Um, also by Jeff Vicente, who helped out with some of the audio effects in the game. So kudos to you guys. You guys get gold stars and credits. All right. Uh, Jervy Who is um, the fabulous uh, guy. <laughs> He's a guy who um, did all the recording and for all of us voiceover actors. I mean, he was whizzing around those programs, whatever they were. I don't know. Yeah, and he had the hugest computer I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like and, a computer monitor. And I have a big computer. And you have... Mine is big. I mean... Yours is huge. Obviously compensating... For my bad eyesight. We also had a couple of executive producers on the game, so uh, obviously a, a huge part of the process really helping out uh, Benjamin Gifford and Sean Robbins, a big part of the project. So to you both, thank great, you. Great, great thanks. Our great thanks. Everyone in the project says thank you. They told me. <laughs> uh, the particle effects were actually provided via a uh, system called DPSF, a uh, program for XNA by Daniel Schroeder. So thank you, Mr. Schroeder. A fancy whiz bang effect. And uh, fonts, you know, some are free and some are, are not free and some cost money and others cost putting uh, someone's name in the credits. So, <laughs> Basar Yugur, I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. Thank you for the 45 font. It's a very nice accent. Thank you. Yes, I practiced that for nine seconds. Um, and beta testers, of course, very important to the uh, QA process. Um, Important for balancing, finding bugs. So thank you to Brent Moffat, Leah Jackson, Bobby Thong, Eric Kimmerer, Zachary Wishnov, my esteemed brother. Yes, he is cool. Jonathan Jimenez, AJ Clausen, and Steve Sorrell. So thank you to you guys. Now, also we had some Kickstarter backers. Kickstarter uh, was a website where people can go and donate to creative projects, and it actually helped fund a, a large part of this game. So um, I'm going to be thanking quite a few Kickstarter backers. So thank you, thank you very much, and I mean that, to Benjamin Gifford, Sean Robbins, Carol Wishnov, hi mom, Don Edgecombe, Jesus Dominguez, Lawrence Lynn, Ian Starkbaum, Jason Ulrich, Mark Allen Jr., Rohan Curry, Nicole Aptekar, Mike Nowak, Casey Thong, Rift Incorporated, Endoto, Leaf Conti Groom, Jason Katzman, Jacob Edelman, Lucas Loesch, Chris Matt Papathon, Chris Benton, John Semi. Harnum, Chris Mack, Adrian Gallegos Gallegos, Oscar Langford, Joe Morgan, Dan Hurd, Darren Nakamura, Joe Arkson, Elizabeth Shoemaker Sampat, Zachary Wishnoff. Hey, there he is again. Hi, Zach. He is everywhere in this game. Very supportive. He is very supportive. Matt Hartwell, Key Chesney, Ash Anderson, Grimy Nation, Brian Marino, Brian Erzin. Alexander Boroff, Samuel B. LaMonica IV. That is a name. That is a name. Very impressive. Very impressive. Probably owns a fleet of something. James Snee, Dave LeCompte, and Elaine Marie Harris. And Jose Sanchez. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, all of you guys really helped. Really helped. Absolutely. A big part of the production. So you guys Finally, a special thanks to Stephen Brandon, Justin Braun, Josh Caillou Saiwitz, Microsoft for providing the XNA framework, and Xbox Live, of course, and Square Enix for helping to inspire the game. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Johan from Spin Doctor Games, who really helped out with Steam integration. You should check out his game on Steam. Your doodles are bugged. It is fantastic. Personal seal of approval. That is, that's kind of it wow. right there. That's that's all. I'm sad. We're fading out in a second. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, if you have that thing that, you know, that thing, you should stick around after the credits because it's going to be a bonus scene. But if you don't have that thing, don't worry about it. It's just there's nothing there. But if you have it, stay. <laughs> anyway. It's been lovely, Jason. It has been lovely, Barbara. So thank you guys for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, Play again. Play, well, play again. Tell your friends. Tell them to play it as well. And uh, you can go to, to Iridium Studios' website, playiridium.com, and, you know, leave me a message if you liked it. And uh, I promise I'll read them all. But, uh, yeah. All right, so that was that was the credit sequence. It was a little bit long, so uh, you'll probably have known it by now. But I'll I'll leave a little message in there, just to you know to if you if you feel like it's skipping it. But I'm gonna leave it in because I feel like it's enough part of the game that you might be of interest er, interested in it. 
Anyway, for our final trick today, we're going to see the uh, the QQQ floor. We need Iridium for that. What was that thing they were talking about? Hold on, let me look that up. I feel like I've seen it before. Let me look it up. Okay, now I remember. So this is going to be a tiny bit time consuming, but we're going to do it anyway. So we have to synth Iridium, which is of interest just because the game was made by Iridium Studios. That's why Iridium is an interesting item. That allows us access to the Q, or not Q, <laughs> to the question mark, question mark, question mark floor. Which, uh, let's see. Yep, yep. Right here. Uh, let me get one more level because I think I might need it. So let me just grind real quick. Okay, I got back my level. One thing that we also got from the boss was a Luminary Scroll, which is a pretty good damage from what I can tell. And then Amber Scroll, which is a really good healing spell. Unfortunately, they have really high experience costs. And I don't feel like getting them. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it's just another healing and damage. If I need them, I'll go for it, but I don't think I do. Maybe. I don't know. It shows what I know. Anyway, let's go to the question mark floor. This place. There's nothing. No walls, no floor. A void. Jane? Damn. They never told me about anything like this. If this is a simulation, we must have exceeded its physical boundaries. We exceeded the physical the boundaries! The space yeah. is blank. Why wouldn't they close this off? Jane gave us the recipe for Iridium. Giving you recipes just involves hitting a button. It's automated. What if they didn't mean to include it? You think Shira hacked it in? Nope. That was me. Whoa, whoa! What? Whoa! Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I don't understand. Who the hell are you? I'm exactly who you think I am. I'm reasonably confident you're not. Kai, they think you're an invaluable asset to the planet. Admittedly, the tower's primary purpose is to ring your wedding bells, but I'm sure taking a full backup of your consciousness would have its uses. Since they're already poking around in there. That's impossible. Computers won't reach the computational capacity of a human brain until 2030 at the earliest. This tower seems a little sci-fi too, doesn't it? Yet here we are. What do you want from us? Haven't you people done enough? Kai, in almost every meaningful way, I am you. You can trust me. I'm not with the tower. Well, I don't know what this place is, so clearly we're not identical. I can access the tower's programming and databases. It's a weird feeling. I brought you down here because it's the only place they can't observe. Because it's not a constructed space. Exactly. And if they realize what I'm doing, they could prevent it. Which is what? There's a large sector of hidden data. And I mean hidden. It can't even be accessed from within the tower. I only realized it existed by tracing inodes on a discarded stack cache, a security flaw. Yeah, I'm good at that. So what are we supposed to do? We're <laughs> in here, same as you. <laughs> but you can wake up. I can set it so that as you begin to wake, the data, whatever it is, is automatically streamed to the visual and auditory centers in your brain. So do it. I need to give you an item. So give it. It doesn't work like that. The only way I can give you an item is if you win it in a battle. Mm -hmm. Well, can you at least make it an easy fight? It's not actually me that makes it difficult. It's just certain numerical values in memory. But down here, those numbers are strange. There are overflow errors everywhere in this space. It might be hard as hell. Figured. Do it, Kai. I want to know what they're hiding. All right. Good luck, man. So basically, we have to do the game thing. Oh, man. Dang it. We might, we might not be able to do this. Look at this, this is... I forgot how crazy hard this was. It's like red notes everywhere. We'll see. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, actually, that didn't hurt too bad. I don't think. Okay, maybe, maybe we can do it. Oh, only five damage from red? Okay, we're, we're, we're fine, never mind. I was getting worried there for a second. Just need to get some more mana and not miss my notes, but... If he's only going to do five damage with red, I must be significantly leveled enough that it shouldn't really be a problem. 
I think my main problem, like I was thinking about this a little bit, I think my main problem that I had was just that, uh... That I didn't gain enough levels over the past couple floors, like I kept losing them because I kept getting bad rolls on creating things and using more experience than I wanted. I think that's the only reason that, uh... That I was just so underleveled for all these floors, otherwise I would have been... Wouldn't have had to grind as much. But dang, look at him, he wants to kill me. I managed to hit all of them, wow. Distracting me with all these crazy notes. I don't have enough mana, I don't think. If I landed that one move, I think I would have had enough. But just not quite enough time, it seems. But man, I was pretty close. I was pretty close there. Even with me massively screwing up with those huge clouds of things. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay. I fig I f yeah, I figured I'd get it on the second shot. We got T Teenlung.exe. We got imaginary number pod and tomahawk missile bears. What? <laughs> Holy hell, that was hard. Eh, it That's wasn't it. too bad. You should get back. They know something's up. But what about you? I can't, um, obviously, leave the system. Man, it's tough, you know? I can't, I can't live I'm just a construct. I can't... Guess you're not as smart as you think, huh? What? Hacking isn't my specialty, so I guess I'm not making my presence known. But don't you think they made a copy of me, too? Go find me, Kai. I'm out there somewhere. You really are amazing, you know that? Yeah. Good luck, you guys. Get out of this alive. You, too. See, so, yeah, that wasn't weird or anything. <laughs> Now, what they're talking about is there was a hidden file. It's basically the hit, the extra ending. And if you, in fact, did uh, watch through the credits, they did mention, you know, do you have that thing? You know, if you do, then you'll get an extra scene. If not, then you won't. <laughs> Which, of course, is very, very vague. If not, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So now I have... Tomahawk Missile Bears increases offense. Yes. So basically, we get massive offense at the cost of a little bit of health, mana, and defense. I'll take it. Why not? Imaginary number pod. 95% chance to obtain all items. Basically, if there's anything you haven't gotten, you can use this to get it. I wonder how much it gives us. It gives us a fair whack, but we don't need it. I'll save it for later if I ever feel like screwing around some more. I don't know. As far as I know... Once we do this, we're done. All we have to do is defeat the final boss, which I'm going to cut out again for you guys. Wow. Wow. 173 critical damage. Wow. Go Tomahawk Missile Bears. Oh, here we go, extra scene. Hmm. Those two were a handful. Think it'll take? You are brilliant as ever. I'm sure it will. Oh, hey -o. They heard everything they needed to hear. Oh, it was all part and of the plan. the performance plan. was wonderful. Adele and Shira. I'd only ever give those roles to it you. It was all part of the plan. Oh, you flatter me. It's my job. Do you think they know what's coming? Of course not. And everything depends on it. Lumen, guinea, lumen. All right. Let's reset.
basically, that is supposed to be the signifying thing that there is a sequel to this game coming out. And I think they actually, you know, admitted to it. Like, you know, they said there is supposed to be a sequence 2 coming out at some point. Though I haven't looked it up much. Let me see if I can find any information on it, see if anything's come of that. Okay, so I thought it was an actual, like, direct sequel. Like, uh, like they were going to make another game. But apparently, the There Came an Echo, it's another game on Steam, is uh, a direct sequel to Sequence, or Before the Echo, as this game is now called. And apparently, just reading a little bit on a, on a, uh, on a page by the developer, it says, uh, The events of There Came an Echo act directly as a sequel to the events in Sequence, continuing the narrative lines of Kai, Nai, Mir, and the Tower. And, uh, apparently you start to learn how it all connects about halfway through the game. I've never played it, but I've heard it's, uh, it's decent. Maybe it'll be a future Let's Play, I don't know. From what I've heard, I think it has, it's, uh, what, what is it? They describe it as a... Uh, a voice-controlled, squad-based strategy game. It's interesting. Uh, I might try it sometime. It, it looks to be at least somewhat interesting. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not sure on it, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a shot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this little tiny Let's Play of mine sequence. It's, uh, I, I thought about it. There was, like I stated before, I thought about it, and I was thinking, well, you know, I'd love to do a Let's Play on it, but a rhythm game, really? <laughs> I, I don't know how a Let's Play would work for it. But I think with some careful editing, I think, it, I think it's okay, because there is a story to it. It's not just a rhythm game. And I, and I like it. it. It's a quirky little game, but it's uh, you know it's not it's not something that I would say is highly memorable in terms of any specific thing. But it's just it's just a neat little game, and it's something I'm glad I played. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And uh, the new Let's Play should start hopefully in two days. Depends on if it comes in the mail. It's a little bit late, but from what I can tell, it should be here either today or tomorrow. So if that happens, then it should start in two days. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!